Hey there YouTube, welcome to Big Mike Beard Wisdom. So, that tire pressure light's flashing, and it's probably due to the high mileage the Saturn Astra has, and more than likely it's got sensors that are bad. So with the sensors being bad, it would cause that light to flash. Otherwise, if the system itself was bad, that could cause the light to flash as well. But, having that light flashing, or having that light remain solid, is a problem. The tires on the vehicle are supposed to be filled up to 35 PSI and after a certain drop in PSI we should see the tire pressure light come on if it wasn't already on. <laughs> the big reason why it's a problem is because you'll have no idea when this happens. So this appears to be a small little screw in one of my front tires and the front tire is currently aired up to 32 psi so hopefully maybe about closer to 34 psi <laughs> but hopefully this isn't leaking so a lot of times if you can catch this before anything bad happens so before it's actually punctured into the inner part of the tire it may not leak air and my favorite thing to check this with is essentially just a spray bottle that you load a little bit of Dawn dish soap in, so not a lot, just enough that it gets soapy. Then add a bunch of water to it. And the big thing is that sometimes when somebody has a tire going low, you don't know where it's coming from. But with the soapy water, you can kind of spritz around and see. So if this was leaking, I might be getting a little bit more bubbles coming out of it. And a lot of times you'll get stuff where maybe there's oxidation or something like that on the rim or like around the valve stem and stuff. And squirting that with just a little bit of water can really help you see where it's at. So this right now isn't doing anything. So hopefully we're lucky and this didn't pop through. And then we'll check it real quick. So I'm just using a simple set of wire cutters and I'm just going to slightly bend it back and forth to see if it makes a hissing noise. So see the bubbles? <laughs> so that's gone all the way through. So you've got an option here of either trying to give that a good smack or rotate it in and hope that the self sealing aspects of the tire are still in there and that you can go to you know your closest tire shop or you can try to fix it yourself in an emergency the easiest thing that someone can do is basically hit it with a plug so like this is a seven piece plug tire kit and it comes with about everything you need so there's this little rasp tool here so basically you pull the object out you jam this sucker in there and then you take one of those plugs Put it on this tool here, thread it through there, jam it into the hole that you widened out with the rasp, and then pray it seals. <laughs> so this can seal fairly well, but these aren't good for long-term use. Just because it's essentially, think of it like rope wrapped in like a rubber or a grease or something like that where it's kind of sealing it off. The problem is that that's not 100% sealed up. And because of that, eventually that'll leak out or leach out. And then you'll just have a piece of rope in there, essentially. And then just having the piece of rope in there allows water and moisture to get in there, as well as air to leak back out. So this is a temporary fix. And if you have speed rated tires, this eliminates that speed rating. So the nice thing right now is that this still has air in it, which makes this possible to do, even if this was on the ground, you could do this. But with as low as the Astra is on the ground, it's one of those things that's just gonna be easier with me having this jacked up right now. It's still making bubbles. Here's a good view of it. And you can see it's basically just a rope that's covered in what looks almost like a grease or a tar. 
And again, this is just for like a temporary use. It's really something that you don't want to be driving around with this for very long on it. We switched over to the GoPro real fast and this will allow me to stick this to the fender. That way I've got two hands to try and do this repair with as opposed to just one. Because if you can do this real quick, you'll lose very little air. So, you grab onto it tight, pull it out. You can kind of see some of the damaged stuff here. Jam the rasp in real quick. So the plug's in there pretty deep. Theoretically, I should be able to just pull it back out now. Whoop, that's not good. I should have wore gloves. <laughs> In you go. There we go. So now your plug's in there. And what I always recommend is cutting this shorter. And some guys even light these on fire. So lighting on fire helps to like, some of them you like semi-vulcanize, but you can see this was the screw. So and it was probably into the tire, at least to there. So that shiny part there probably made contact with the metal bands inside your tire and rubbed that clean. So that's in, and then we'll check the tire pressure real quick, see how well we did. So that's at, it's like just short of 30 PSI. So we only lost about four PSI doing that. And you may lose more if the full weight of the vehicle's on it. But you can see putting a plug in real quick is fine to do in a pinch and is relatively quick to do. But again, this is like an emergency kind of thing and shouldn't be left in there for a very long time. And basically we can hit it with a little bit of water real quick, just to verify that she's holding. So it doesn't look like there's any bubbles, but we'll give it a second because sometimes it forms a larger bubble. In the meantime, so I put the kit basically back together and really, I need to put this in like a Ziploc baggie or the whole thing in a Ziploc baggie. That way these don't dry out. Because they can dry out over time, just expose the air. I probably really should have wore gloves, but... <laughs> like the worst booger ever. <laughs> but I still have three of these. So these will go back into the Escalade. I've got them in the Escalade just because... I'm not 100% sure I'm going to be able to get the spare tire down in the Escalade. So by having these somewhere handy, you can fix a problem like this in a pinch and at least get you to like a service center or something. And that doesn't look like any more bubbles are coming out, so I think we're probably good. So I'll top this off with air and start looking for tire deals. This really needed to be replaced anyway. 
These are wear bars, they're 230 seconds. So this would have severely compromised ability to shed water. So had I hit a pool of water, had I hit like a really rainy road or something like that, there's a good chance I would have hydroplaned. You can also see inside of here, these cracks. And in one of the earlier videos, I kind of mentioned about how more than likely these cracks were due to someone driving it faster than they should. Or doing burnouts. <laughs> Same thing with like this kind of dry rotting that's getting on the side. These are more than likely due to stress from overheating. So it could have been that they ran this with very little air pressure and that could have caused it. But more than likely, these V-rated tires, someone figured out that they had speed-rated tires and decided to go as fast as they could. <laughs> because these are only four-year-old tires. So built the 31st week of 2017. And this is 2021. Well, in July, so it's probably getting close to like that 30th-ish week. <laughs> As you can see, it's relatively simple to put a plug in. And it's relatively easy just to quickly diagnose if you've got a problem with a little bit of like soapy water. And really, tool-wise, it's not a whole lot that you needed. Now granted, you definitely need something to help pull things out because getting any type of screw or a nail can be kind of tough and 90% of the time I use a pair of wire cutters. It just makes it much easier. It grips pretty good and can pull it out pretty simple. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to like and subscribe. I'll check you out next time. Please don't there let there be a second one. <laughs> oh, I think we're good. Guess we'll probably have a video about looking for tires now. Ha, 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 ha.